Hells up, y'all. It's popping this D. I'm back and I'm black. I'm back home from my vacation. Um, I've been gone for a little bit. I did much better this time around, though, on vacation. I had a lot of pre-recorded videos that I was putting up while I was out there, but I ran out. You know, I ran out. I was gone for a while, and uh, I, I tried to record while I was out there, but a lot of y'all was complaining about the quality, um, saying it looks like I was recording out of a toaster. So I was like, cool. I'll see y'all niggas when I get back then, and, and that's what happened. <laughs> but I'm back. Here I am. Um, so, yeah, we're going to hop into these vids. Uh, this is impressive with uh Lloyd Harvey exposing red flags in Michael B. Jordan. I'm not surprised. And uh The Rock likes Megan and Party is jealous. Sure. Uh yeah yeah let, let's see what they're talking about. Let's watch. Hello everybody welcome to the impressive channel. Now there's a funny interview that went viral. The Rock and funny. Kevin Hart were doing a press run for their new movie DC League of Super Pets and The Rock was asked who would he want to be a pet to? And this was his answer. What celebrity would you want to be a pet to? Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, he was that's quick with it. Why Megan Thee Stallion? Well, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> okay? Okay, Andrew, just leave it out there. Why are you laughing? Okay. Why the f are you going to do that? I thought this was pretty hilarious because when I saw okay. this, all I could think about was Megan's lyric from Cash Ish. She was saying, yeah, he my dog, you gonna sit down and listen. So mm -hmm. The Rock said he want to sit down and listen. He want to be her dog, her pet, whatever she want. I think this was a playful interview, and he has a thing for Megan Thee Stallion, I think. However, Megan Thee Stallion's boyfriend, Partisan Fontaine, was not here for this at all. all. In joking. fact, It's On Site took a screenshot of his reaction, and he said this, all our dogs is named after numbers. Just teach your wife to use seasoning. You'll be all right. What? Moana is the ish, though. Now, when he made this comment, That's a lot funny. of us were confused. Like, why is he bringing up The Rock's wife? And why is he acting bothered? I mean, The Rock didn't say anything too out of pocket. It was just a playful comment. Right. And I don't think he was literally trying to shoot his shot at Megan. I mean, he is a married man. So I think this whole thing was just jokes. However, Partisan got in his Boy. feelings a little bit. And he Boy. definitely was showing that Shut he's up. insecure. He did come back and try to clean it up no, by saying, of all the things to be worried about, y'all think I'm mad at The Rock. The comment started all our dog's numbers and ended with Moana is my ish. I deleted it yesterday because it seemed like people took it wrong. Thought maybe my joke was in poor taste. The thing is, I don't think Partisan was even joking. I think he actually yeah, was kind of pressed about The Rock's wasn't comment giving because why joke. would he even say something like exactly. that? That was weird on his part and it kind of shows that he's threatened and insecure. But anyway, since we're on it's the topic hard, of Megan, you I do want to talk about <laughs> her upcoming album, Traumazine. She has been starting her rollout for her album. I'm going to react to it on my Patreon. Can't wait to hear it. Rollouts. Megan went on social media and revealed that her label is trying to sabotage her album release. Now, if you're not aware of the situation, mm. Megan has been going through a legal battle with her label, I'm gonna my hair. Certified Entertainment, and she wants off of the label. Is it gonna make me She's been putting hints out there that her label is trying to disrupt her rollout. She said on Instagram, I can't catch a break. My label hate me, and my stuff always oh, leak. Oh. At this point, invite the hotties to the studio and shoot. So Megan is claiming that her project was leaked, and I was kind of searching around to see where it was leaked, but I didn't find any music. Oh, yeah, my Instagram However, got I disabled, y'all. <laughs> this album cover, or should I say alleged album The fuck? I'm it trying to get it back, child. Album, I'm really about to be under a rock that, if I don't get my Instagram back. it seems like she won't have to be upset about it too long because apparently even do Traumazine is her last album on 1501 Certified Entertainment. She tweeted this, y'all know I always have problems with dropping my music under this label. All these games and having to go to court just to put out my art has been so stressful. Thank you hotties for rocking with me through the BS. We almost out, let's stay focused and run this last one up. So very interesting choice of words where she said, let's run this last one up. I believe this might be her last album on the label. And if that's the case, this is good news for Megan because she can now break free and move on. And this is what she has always wanted to do. She feels like 1501 is cheating her out of her money and she wants them out of the equation because Megan wants to hold on to her coins. Megan is not only signed to 1501, by the way, she's actually signed to another label, Rock 300 Nation. Entertainment, which is her distribution label. And she's signed to Rock Nation, which works as her management 
So she has a lot of different hands in her pockets mm -hmm. and her money is being split different ways. So mm -hmm. one less hand makes things a bit easier for her. Now moving on, Lori Harvey talked about some red flags in a relationship and I kind of thought she was talking about Michael B. Jordan. Mm. Now she recently sat down with Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor has a show on Bumble called Love to See It. Mm. And this is what Lori said. Okay, so if you had a red, what would it be? I would say if you're too close to your exes, mm. that's a red flag. <laughs> Cordial like, cool. Cordial, okay, you speak. I don't want y'all to have beef yet, okay? Because then that gets right. messy. So how would you take it if it was genuine? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like... It's not adding up for me. It's not. Tell now, I thought you. it was interesting that Lori said that it is a red flag if her boyfriend is still cool with his exes. Now, if you remember, it was rumored that Lori and Michael B. Jordan broke up because Michael B. Jordan still had a thing for one of his exes. This is just a rumor, but Lisa Ray, who is close to Lori Harvey's mother, kind of slipped up and revealed this tea on her show Cocktails with Queens. Mm. I think that's bullshit they said that she wasn't ready because when a person, when a woman finds a good one, then that's what you're looking for. And I think that he, you know, I heard, I will say this, I heard about his ex and him was so serious that he may have missed her. So from that information alone, I'm just kind of speculating that maybe Lori was talking about Michael in her recent interview. I don't know this to be true, but I'm just speculating. But she did this interview in May, so maybe she was dropping hints that there were some red flags in their relationship before they actually broke up. That's just my assumption. But I do give Lori props because she knows how to move on and gracefully bow out. I do think she felt some type of way after she and Michael broke up. Michael made sure to publicize their breakup before she had a <laughs> So I think she felt a way about it, but she's not one of those types to be crying and whining. This, I'm sorry, that's sad. It was publicly. just it's so dramatic. She's gonna I'm move sorry. on and do her thing. I'm, and I'm unfortunately, Lori gets dragged a lot for dating around. This is a fucking sign from the universe. I was just thinking I should dye my hair red this whole time. This is how <laughs> how distracted I be watching these videos. I was thinking as she was talking, what color should I dye my hair? And I was thinking red, and then bow, red hair. A lot of people say she's for the streets. They even have the nerve to compare her to Future, Future of all people. And Lori is not out here having babies by multiple people. Right. Like Future is. So I think that comparison is really ridiculous. Lori is a young woman doing ridiculous. what she's supposed to do. She's dating around until Tell. she finds the right one. And she made it very food. clear that she's not going to settle in a relationship that doesn't serve her. Yeah, I'm just going to move yeah. accordingly. And also, like, I almost got married very young. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's after good. that, it made me be like, okay, I felt like I hadn't really experienced anything. I didn't really know myself. I didn't really know what I liked, what I didn't like. I just feel like I hadn't really experienced life. So I think at that point then I was like, okay, I'm about to, like I said, just date on my terms. And like, however I want to move, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. And if it's no longer serving me, I'm going to move on. Now, moving on, I want to briefly talk about Doja Bonnie. Cat. Doja Cat shaved off all of her hair Please and shaved her eyebrows off. And a lot of people think that she is going oh. absolutely crazy. <laughs> what's really going on with Doja Cat? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on with Doja oh, Cat. Oh, because you know. Doja is just bored. <laughs> That's oh. all it is. She's very bored. Impressive, Doja girl. I can't keep letting it slide. I'm going to tell you what's going on because that's my bitch and we were just talking last night. That's what it's giving every time in present. <laughs> every time present talk about these people like, girl, 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 you don't know these niggas. You don't know these niggas. I mean, I don't know who you know, but I know you don't know all these niggas you be talking about. Ain't no way. So it's just, it, it cracks me up. But yeah, I think people need to leave Doja alone. Okay, she wants to shave her hair. That's the fuck she wants to do. She tired of them wigs. She tired of it pushing her hairline back. All right, it was fucking her edges up. She tired of it. She just wants to be bald head. Nothing wrong with that. Shaving the eyebrows. You know, she's a little, she's a little odd. So that's what she chose to do. I don't think this is a cry for help or meaning that she going crazy. Like people so dramatic. Tour with the weekend the right now. Oh, so she yeah. has a lot of free time on her hands these days, and she's spent. Wait, she touring right now. She is very bored. Doja is sitting at home when she's supposed to be on tour with The Weeknd right now. 
So she has a lot of free time on her hands these days, and she's spending her Girl, time on social not media sitting at home. doing the How you know she's things home? that she would typically do. Hmm. And people are concerned because they're just not used to seeing that from an artist I'm not sure of her stature. Doja is a pop weekend. star, but she doesn't act like it. I don't think she likes the fact that she has to present herself a certain way or look a certain way or act a certain way. Mm. So she's kind of rebelling against that. Mm. I <laughs> and I think that. that's partly why she shaved her hair off. And she also explained that her hair was almost a burden for her. She couldn't do some of the things she wanted to do without worrying about her hairstyle. Yeah, so she just shaved it off. That's what she did. Crying. Now, when she shaved off her hair and her brows, a lot of people were concerned, of course, and she went on Instagram Live to kind of address some of those concerns. Basically, okay, what happened was I got two DMs today from people I don't think who she bad. I never speak to. Eyebrow. And they Go both ahead. are like, hey, or like a how are you? Like, do you need anything? How are you feeling? And I'm like, great, thanks. I appreciate it. And like, they were like, that's all cool, but are you feeling all right? And I'm just like, Blog. yeah, thank you. And then um, the other person was like, you know, just, I was like, I was like, yo, like, listen, this is starting to get a little weird. Like if I'm like making you uncomfortable um, or, or making you worried for me, like I, I really do apologize. Like this isn't something I'm doing on purpose. Like I feel fine. And, I appreciate you for um, looking out for me. And uh, they were like, cool, cool, all right, all good. Um, just checking in on you, and I'm like, thanks. And I hadn't spoken to this person, mind you, in like a really long time. No, you're getting blocked. So the fact that the conversation Cause, didn't- Cause it's not even genuine at this point. If you was concerned about me, you would have been checking on me on a regular basis. Fuck out of here, it's, it's fake. You trying to be nosy, trying to be my business. And you're getting blocked. Go further than that is a little concerning to me. Um, and, and it's just that on top of like everybody being like, you're on drugs and Damn, you're that's a crazy reach. and what has she oh, done to herself? Does. And you need help. You need like, don't be afraid to like, you need to seek help. It's kind of funny because I, I always was the person to be like posting dumb shit on the internet. So it's just you funny to me that people uh -huh. are in any way like shocked. The second that I get to feeling like I'm free and I feel cool, motherfuckers are like, you're not good, <laughs> you're not okay. So that's what Doja had to say. According to her, she's feeling just fine. And I think people were overreacting for no reason. Doja Cat is just being her quirky self and she's gonna do some random things. And also she's bored. So I'm not surprised at anything she does nowadays. <laughs> anyway, tell me what y'all think about this. I've been thinking, I'm hearing noises in here. Um, yeah, leave this woman alone. The fuck? Niggas can't shave their head nowadays. It's her goddamn head. It's her goddamn eyebrow. But she want to shave and that's her business. I don't understand how that correlates to her being on drugs. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? People are weird. Uh, what else they talked about? Uh, Lori Harvey. That is old news, though. They not together no more. Who cares? Who cares? If he was close to his ex. You broke up with the nigga. You moved on. Whatever. Uh, party is... Is, is a lame though he's real corny for that comment i don't believe for one second that he was just joking it didn't give joke it wasn't even a funny response like it was just weird and unnecessary i don't feel like you needed to even address that like that was just lame he was clearly joking i don't think he wants megan at all honestly um i mean i don't know what this man is into but just if i'm going based on what his wife looks like and, and other women that i've heard of him date they don't look nothing like megan is all i'm saying so it, for you to just get that pressed over is, is weird but sure whatever i will be reacting to megan's album when it drops though on my patreon can't wait to hear it uh, i'm not too you know excited about it to be honest because her, her recent music has not been hidden for me but i'm still going to give it an honest chance gonna to listen to it i still have to react to beyonce's album that's coming like in the next day or two putting that on my patreon too i'm, I'm real excited to listen to that i've heard a couple songs 
but haven't heard the whole thing. Definitely about to hear that. Uh, but yeah, sure. These niggas is just uh, living their life, but but we in their business as usual, and we're about what they doing. Sure. Let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch, and I'll see y'all next time.